This is first video by solution in on depreciation of non-current assets. We will discuss various methods of calculating depreciation with examples. Why do we need to depreciate a fixed or non-current asset? The need to depreciate non-current assets arises from the accruals assumption of accounting and matching concept, which state that a business should be charging depreciation on assets in respect of revenues that a business has generated by using that asset. The purpose behind this is that the revenues and expenses should be matched for each period. Let's take an example. If money is expended in purchasing a truck then the amount expended must at some time be charged against profits. If the truck is one which contributes to an entity's revenue, over a number of accounting periods it would be inappropriate to charge it in a period in which the asset was acquired with the whole of the expenditure since assets are purchased for business. Used to generate revenues is paid in the year of purchase only. So to balance the revenues yearly we have to allocate the portion of expense against the revenue generated by that asset every year. To do this, some method found of spreading the cost of the asset over its useful economic life. Thus depreciation is a process of allocation of the cost of an asset over several accounting periods. It is worth mentioning here two common misconceptions about the purpose and effects of depreciation. For depreciation consistency is important. The depreciation method selected should be applied consistently from period to period unless altered circumstances justify a change. When the method is changed, the effect should be quantified and disclosed and the reason for the change should be stated. Different depreciation methods are in practice all depending upon the pattern of revenue generation. The most common two methods of depreciation are straight line method and reducing balance method. The formulas for both are as follows. Let's see an example of these most commonly used methods. Mr. Ben purchased a Toyota Corolla 2008 model for $21,000, which intends to use for escorting customers for next three years. Ben has estimated that after the useful life of three years, his car will be sold for $6,000. What would be the depreciation per year under straight line method and 30% on reducing balance method? As per the formulas told above the depreciation for the next three years under each method will this. Note that the total depreciation both methods was $15,000. Only the pattern of car is different so the depreciation of each year is different. The other usable methods are the number of units method. This is the formula for depreciation as per units used. Then comes the double declining method. And finally the sum of the years digit method for the purpose of understanding an asset with the useful life of four years is used. 